Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Oh my God, Trump is my voice? I never thought America would be put through anything worse than the supremely delivered Bush Cheney cast of characters supported behind the scenes by a too big to fail deconstruction production crew. Ripping across borders, ripping out roots of international stability, this combo transformed nations into line items. I never thought we'd suffer memory loss of this radical redistribution of global economics by watching too much news. But if those in the land of the free, outside the Quicken Loans arena, permit the GOP linchpin to Chapter 11 to blind us to our potential to actually be thinking, home of the brave, seekers of truth and justice for all, I thought wrong. I've often contended it's not the regular, everyday, down-to-earth Republican. It's the not-so-grand-old-boy leadership of the new low GOP redefining itself with sacrificing one's wife on national television in a convention speech embarrassingly plagiarized, hissing through a self-serving cruise, passing a Pence cliché stone, then sinking like a rock of arrogance, worse than Tom DeLay, looking hung over and sounding doped up, Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort proved me wrong. Maybe it's not just the carnival barker, but those willingly answering the call to be taken for a ride. Before gender inequality, trickle-down voodoo, fathering political extremes and economic imbalance, before emails, social media, neck pain from device addiction, before drones, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kent State, Vietnam, blue versus black, black versus white, north versus south, fear, greed, and pride connected us to the angry, hateful darkness to which Donald Trump wishes to take America. It's neither new nor visible, but it is as defining as the equator and Greenwich Meridian. It is the lineage from Cain to gun violence, the line snake oil salesmen ooze to dupe buyers into thinking greatness is determined by job title, bank balance, skin color, or religion. It is the one common podium from which despots soothe the savage breast of the common people. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And like Punctious Pilot, Mussolini and friends, Joe McCarthy and brothers Dulles and Koch, to Osama bin Laden, Bashar al-Assad, Putin and Erdogan, many enter through it. If Trump is the American voice, this is our heritage. American politics have always been down and dirty, and both Secretary Hillary Clinton and I could shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose voters. Donald Trump have given all Americans an electoral process that's possibly worse than the Jim Crow era. Trump, however, surpassing any email scandals, reflects our national Dorian Gray potential, creating hysteria wailing in grateful chorus. Willingly genuflecting to those who think us expendable, Republicans danced in Cleveland to the refrain of me, 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 us first, like bullies assuming they are always entitled to the front of the line. Believing it's only Charles and David Koch using ultra-patriotic sounding names and pretend charities to hide political financial clout while profiting from tax exemptions is forgetting Trump is their creation. Worshipping the narcissistic is prelude to bequeathing millennials just enough pieces of silver to guarantee their repeat business and votes against themselves. If we're not extremely disappointed with both presidential candidates, we're not paying enough attention. However, now's not the time to shut down, but to become acutely aware that a trumped America is a national suicide. What GOP secret partners are doing to America is the last call. Vote to stop Trump. Gerrymandering our political system with red mapping. Citizens United. Sean Noble. Stephen A. Schwartzman. Americans for Job Security. Ethanol producer Bruce Rossiter. U.S. Chamber of Commerce. J.W. Childs. Ken Griffin of Citadel. Grover Norquist. Fox News, Carl Rove, and Frank Luntz, to name a few. 
If we think any of the above are for any of us, we're lost in the fog of a Trump entrance and flagellant statistics of a delusional Stephen Miller stoking the darkness of America's underbelly, and may have missed why and by whom America's greatness was tarnished. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.